But the thing is, what I was just trying to tell everyone with Russell Westbrook, you know, is like, if y'all want to dog him when he's down, understandable, you know, well deserved at the moment. But what he had a good game, no one says shit. I still like, will say what I continue to say. That good game was not worth forty million dollars. No. Or whatever, forty-five million dollars, bro. Hey man, hey man. You guess what? We'll see. We'll see next year. Yeah. And he's just when he had Paul George on his team, they got slapped up by Utah, bro. That's bad. Hey man, I'm just stating that you know what he did. He did. He did. It was bad. It was bad. But anyways. Tyson, yeah, hold on, real quick before we get into all that. Yeah, Tyson, what's your thoughts on uh, on yo, are you guys keeping Westbrook? Do they want to know what the situation is? You know, like, they want Kyrie Irving. I want Kyrie Irving. That's I what want. I want. I'll buy a Kyrie Laker jersey any day of the week. Bro. That's crazy. Kyrie, Kyrie wants to hate. stay in Brooklyn. Yeah, Kyrie wants to stay in Brooklyn. They want Kyrie to stay. All I know is sorry, go the best Kyrie Irving was with LeBron James, so. If he, uh, I agree. Yeah. If he knows what's good. Then... The best Kyrie could have been last year's playoffs, though, if he didn't get injured, though. Because mm-hmm. what they were doing to the communication, they weren't you know, just injuries happen. Yeah, they weren't just beating the Bucks; they were dogging them. Yeah, yeah they were stopping them. They were stopping like them. I was like, stopping yo, them. this is I. I didn't want them to win because I didn't want Harden to get a ring like that. I didn't want... <laughs> I, I was I was rooted for. It's not like a real life hater. <laughs> not like that, bro. <laughs> not like that. That's so weak. Nah, I feel you. But, but now I even see this morning like the talks are about like what's KD got? Does KD got to win another one to even validate his two championship with Golden State? Oh, them them two oh. chips are weak. Yeah. But the thing is, I agree. As a, as a KD fan, he does. Yeah, That's what I've been saying. Kawhi is that guy. Kawhi is, but Kawhi over KD. Right, yeah, stop, Luca. Kawhi yeah, stop. over even even Jamal can't deny it after the. Nah, yeah, Jamal, what's your thought on that? that? No, no, Kawhi Bro, is not. Over if, KD. if you put Kawhi, Kawhi on Brooklyn with Kyrie, they're getting swept. Oh, I, I can't, I can't, like I can't defend the sweep. It was terrible. It was the worst <laughs> KD performance I've seen in my life. Like, I don't know what I don't know what to say. Like, when you bring up the sweep, KD's the worst player on the planet. Hey, man, all I'm saying is Tatum may show up in the finals. He didn't. He's going to leave it at that. He averaged 20, though. He averaged the same uh, numbers as LeBron did in 07, though. As LeBron did. But but he did on what, like 38% from the field? So, like, we can't can't really – we can't say that. No, LeBron was, like, 36, 38% too. No, no, you're right. You're right. But, like – I'm just saying, like, um, that was more towards Tyson saying he averaged 22. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, it's also a different team. Like, I can't, as much as I love Tatum, you can't use that argument. Who's on that Cavs team? Let's be real. Oh, bro, if, like you, LeBron put LeBron, LeBron, yeah, no. every if you put LeBron on this Celtics team, they're, they're slapping the Warriors. I don't know. Oh, bro, the Warriors are fraudulent, oh, bro. The Warriors yeah, are fraudulent. Stop it. Stop it. They're fraudulent. See, they, I, they, I think the Warriors are going back-to-back. No, their, yeah. their title runs are the luckiest – out of any dynasty in the history of sports, they have the luckiest. Ah, uh, you know what, man, man, That's what we're gonna go to the topic then. Where do you find Golden State's dynasty rank all time? I put the Spurs ahead for sure. I think they're top three. Yeah, I put Bulls and Spurs oh, ahead. Three? Oh, three? No, no. I might oh. have to put like, do, do we consider the eighties Lakers? Because I think I have. Yeah, to yeah show time, show time, show time, yeah. So like, I I give them four. Oh, man. Ooh, I don't know, because you're talking about, at least off the my head, you got Showtime Lakers, you got obviously Michael Jordan Bulls, you got O2, like the uh, Kobe Shaq Lakers. Nope. I, I don't put them ahead. That's yeah, why. That's why. I, I got to put them over, over Golden State. Oh. Wait, do you say that's a dynasty, though? That that's the reason. That's why that's any why. three pizza dynasty, of oh, course. That, that's a, that's a now you gotta be three pizza. You feel me? Any three pizza dynasty. Why I feel like I, why I feel like you have to put them in the conversation. You know what I mean? Unless like other, like unless the top one dynasty have to be. But you know what? Years, I don't know. As much as I'm a Laker fan, they had what three, four uh, finals appearances in like eight years together, seven in like years. seven or eight exactly. They won three. 
But Golden State, what? They got six and eight six years. Six and eight. They, they won they four. Won four. Years. I got four. It, it, the Lakers, the Shaq and Kobe Lakers would have been the best if they stayed together longer. But I feel yeah. like them, that works. Yeah. So I, I see what you're saying. I, in terms of impressiveness, I would put the old, like the Shaq and Kobe Lakers ahead of um, the Warriors. But in terms of longevity and all that, I'll put, I'll put the Warriors over. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I can agree with that. And then I, I have a question though. Is is a dynasty built or is it bought? That's like, because all these dynasties are are built, right? Yeah, they're all, every yeah, pretty much all of them are. Because the awesome. Miami Heat wasn't really a dynasty. I mean, that was also only four years too. So, I, like, regardless, if they won four, I don't even think you could. Well, okay, no, if they won four in a row, you could. Consider. But like, <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm saying, bro. It's, it's, but I think that's why I have to. But, like, we talking about the Lakers coming I mean, they won three straight. It's like, yo, that's impressive as shit. Like, I feel like we can't even discredit that. And it was, yes, the finals matchups weren't great, mm-hmm. but back then it was the journey to get to the finals, right? Mm-hmm. You had to go through the Spurs. They swept the Spurs. Mm-hmm. They manhandled them. Though they gave the they didn't give the business in the third year, but um, the third title run. But Sacramento, come on, Chris Weber, Peja, and all these guys, Bibby. Portland yeah. Trailblazers, all these guys. They, so it was the journey to get to the finals that was the most impressive part because for the most part, the East was weak. And when Michael left till... There was no... Uh, till Michael left was, till... 06 LeBron? Oh, or no, 06 was Wade's... I might say... Yeah, 06 was Wade's. We say, we're saying the East was weak when the Pistons won it? Yeah, I think I think the East was weak till like from like the time Michael left, so ninety eight till, let's say. I'm thinking way back then. I'm oh, thinking three. like till twenty twelve maybe. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, but, but like twenty twelve, yeah. like for them times the East is weak. Well, I, you listen, I wanted to be respectful because I was really gonna say 2018, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> For 20 years, I was going to say it was relative. Because think about it. If you put a super, like a LeBron, a Kobe, a MJ, maybe even a Shaq in that two, in that like period, they were going to the finals all the time. It's just the East didn't have anyone, any individual player that was dominant enough till LeBron came to go to the finals every year. And then, of course, you had the Celtics and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Okay, no, maybe that's a, I'll say like 08, 09, because you had Dwight, Boston, uh, Cleveland, yeah. So I'll say 08 09. I'm not gonna get disrespectful. I'll say 08 09. I, I, I can agree with that. I can agree with that right? because you know, you had the Nets, they were a good team. Don't don't get me twisted, like Jason Kidd, Kenyon Martin. But like, come on, like, uh, but the thing is, I just felt like you didn't have enough teams consecutively like competing year in, year out. Besides, like, even like, that's why, like, for example, like, if you look at the papers, God's run 10th straight, unheard of, unheard of. Yeah, but obviously that's what they. I tell you, I know you're gone, fam. But I'm just saying, like, I know that's people will be like, oh, well, look at look, look what you had to go through. For 10, but yeah, eight, I don't know, years mm-hmm. ago. Oh. cakewalks. Because who? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it was cakewalk though. Like, well, it's, it's not like, compared to the West though. Compared to the West regularly. Because look, who? And sorry, I'll let you, Jamal or Tyson go after this. That's what a uh, question. But who? How many Hall of Famers? Did LeBron play from during his Eastern Conference Finals runs in in the East, not in the finals, in the East? You going D Rose? Okay, for one year. I don't Paul think George. To be honest, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. That's no, no. You see, we we got we got to remember it's a basketball Hall of Fame, though. Yeah, it's true. But it's I mean, it's yeah, it's, and everyone gets it. <laughs> If I played in the 60s, I'd have been a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed that. I, re- I feel like I feel like there's so many people in, in, in just in Montreal or Toronto that Hoopers now that if they played in the 60s or 50s, a Hall of Famer. Bro, oh, come on, stop it. Stop hey, it. Man. Hey, you know what the other dudes, I mean, well, actually the old heads now always try to say like it was way more competitive and never, never in the 90s, that. sure, but the 50s, 60s, come on. Bro, that, 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 that often, that little Chamberlain stuff. 
I need, I need, I need fake. footage. Yeah, it's fake, bro. Well, he, he's well, a, he's a unicorn. Care, he's just a different. He's just a <laughs> problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Bill Russell and Wilts, I think they would have been great. And Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, I think they would have. But I'm talking about like, you know, like Sam Jones, you know, Tommy <laughs> Hanks, you Why know, you <laughs> guys like that. You know, I feel you. this guy's going back. Right, but no, um, yeah. So, do you guys feel like there was like a lot of hot, like quality? And like you said, the Hall of Fame in the NBA is pretty easy to get into. Uh, well, not easy, but you get what I'm saying. It's it's not as hard mm-hmm. as baseball or NFL. Um, but do you guys feel like? I mean, like how many like, uh, like no. upper echelon Hall of Famers did he really go through? Besides, yeah, the well, he played Toronto. Yeah, I was gonna say like the Celtics. Is- this is the only real one. Toronto, like they're like DeRozan, DeRozan and Kalo probably make the Hall of Fame, but like they're not, they're not like they're not. It's like they're, a they're not them the Hall of Fame. As much as I love them, you know. Yeah. I feel that. Actually, honestly, it, I don't even Boston? know if DeRozan makes the Hall of Fame. Who? I I, mm, I think. Is Iguodala's making the Hall of Fame? Yeah, but that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like he will, he will because of the ring, and he has a Finals MVP. He has a Finals MVP. JJ Finals heavily. Got to be Finals MVP. Oh, man. I don't know, bro. I don't. Like, the thing is, it's one of those things where ten years from now, whatever, you see Iguodala get in, and like you're telling your kids, kind of like, okay, this is like any winning type of thing. Like, oh no, that's why. That's why I feel like the NBA kind of pisses me off because it's like there's so many great players you guys had. Okay, but don't tell me all these guys are getting in. I'm like, come on. But now that's, I think that's the issue I'm, is that they just like they don't have a Hall of Fame just for the NBA. Like they just do the basketball Hall of Fame and take into account high school, college, and then your NBA career. No way, it's really international. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. And Olympics too. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, hey, I don't come know. On. All of that. Come <laughs> on. Why did you, No, don't. That's, oh, come on. Why do you think, why do you think, Vladi, like, why do you think Vladi Divac made the Hall of Fame? That's why I'm saying Joe Kim Noah should make the Hall of Fame. My guy, Joe Kim, <laughs> should be in the Hall of Fame. I, he, bro, he was the best uh, center in the league for like three years. Joe Kim was good two or three uh, years. He was. As much as I hated him, he was such a gross oh, player, him. but he, he really was. Uh, he was yeah. sick. I feel like you guys said the same with Carlos Boozer. That's my guy. That was my guy. Um, both of the guys. Now you're getting, now you're getting, getting, <laughs> you're getting crazy now. You're getting crazy. <laughs> what do you say, Tyson? Boozer and Noah, I found them so boring and so trash, to be honest with you. Uh, Boozer back in Utah, though? Yeah, Utah Boozer was a problem. Him and D. Will? Hmm. Hey, they, nah. they 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 lost to the Spurs in 07, but they could have went to the finals in the comp, uh, against LeBron. Speaking of LeBron, I remember Boozer thought uh, he's like, yeah, you know, we got players on here back with the Cavs. Back in the Cavs. Nah, yeah. Yeah, let me let me touch on Deshaun, Deshaun Watson real quick. Uh, JJ, your boy, Mister Two, what's it now? Twenty six losses. Hey man, it's, it's, it's hard to support him. It's hard to support him. Yeah. So, yo, what's your, what's your, what's your thoughts on what happens in this upcoming season? What will happen? Yeah. He's done for at least eight games, probably the season. So, I, I feel like if he's gone for – because initially, I think – I don't know if I, I could be wrong, but, like, I could have sworn initially um, the rumors was like, oh, four, maybe six games or whatever. But now, like, with all these – I guess the additional losses and four not being fully handled yet or whatnot. I feel like even if he's gone eight eight to the season, whatever, I feel like that's why they gotta keep Baker, in my opinion. I feel like I feel like as much as they try to get rid of him every way possible, literally try to give him money to leave in a way. It's like I mean, yes and no, because really and truthfully, if he's gone for the season, they could just use it as a tank here and get like a top ten pick or something. And they'll go crazy next year. Um, that can be back to work, I guess. The thing is, I don't think their roster is bad enough to be a, a top. That's five true. Yeah, I, I mean, with, I mean, who's the, who's the, who would be the third quarterback though? Like, I guess they would run the ball Jacoby forty percent, times no? a game. Yeah, yeah, they got Jacoby. He can, he Jacoby I think I think Jacoby can hold it down for the year. 
easily win 10 yeah. to 11 games. I wouldn't say hold it down, but I would Baker say get it. To come back. I don't even think Baker will come back. <laughs> no, but hold on. Tyson, what do you mean hold it down? I mean, I'm not talking about he's going to instantly become a top five QB. I'm talking about. No, no, but top. like hold it down as in seven, seven wins, eight wins. Eight wins, eight wins. That's, like that's, eight that's wins. holding it down. Like, yeah. All right. Uh, I still think this this uh, again to the playoffs. If if the wait what you you, you, you say you think they will? Yeah. What? Wait. Bro, you, if, you think uh, they will with Jacoby Brissett? I think Cleveland gets into the playoffs with jo- uh, Jacoby Brissett. You're, no, he's he's tripping right now. You don't believe? Are that. you guys serious? Are you insane? Oh, what is no bro? The AFC North is too tough for that, bro. They're, Come they on, were coming last year. Steelers, Steelers are trash. I, Steelers are trash. <laughs> uh, who's the QB? Bro, it doesn't matter who our QB Pickett, is. Pickett's we got the best, <laughs> We have the best defense in the league and the best defensive coordinator in the league. We got we got Brian Flores and Mike Tomlin. Yep, best linebacker That's coach in the league. That's a problem. Now our right now we're lose twice to Baltimore. And we got Mitch Trubisky too? Come on, stop. Can you pick it started? I know, I know you didn't just say Mitch Trubisky. Come on. I know that's not the name I just heard. Trubisky? Yeah. How, how long do you think we're, it takes until pick it starts? All I'm going to say is we're placing top week two one. in the division. Top you two? said week I one, think, Tyson? I don't think see, I don't. I don't think Cincy beat. I don't think it'll be Cincy. Cincy not seeing us. Hey, man. I think I said I got a quarterback that can push the ball down the field better, I, more so than um, who's your receivers, though? Who's your who's your they is Claypool going to better out outside? What do you mean? The top two, top three, top three receivers, 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 dog. Hey, man, <laughs> I see that and I said, Oh, okay. I I wanted AB back, uh, because he said he wanted to retire. Mm. His, if we had AB, I'd love that, but in my time, just shut that down. Owens, I love that too. Mike Tomlin oh. shut that down. Man, when he said that, I didn't think he meant that he he wanted to play as a dude. I think he just wanted to sign like one day and retire there. Though. Yeah, but you know he's not on no roster right now. Can he really say no if we really ask him? Bro, the man has been ducking ankle surgery the past ten months. Well, not ten months, yeah, but like damn, about. like six months. Yeah, yeah. Tyson knows that first time. Uh-huh. Not serious about <laughs> playing no more. He's finished. Nah, it's a damn shame because he's like outside of Calvin, he's the best receiver I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he's up there. I, I guess he just didn't watch too much play, but uh, I feel that. I, well, I watched T.O. Like, T.O.'s my favorite, but I, I've seen him in, like, Dallas and after that. I didn't see Philly. You know, if I saw Philly and stuff, like, you know, it would have been okay, different. I, feel so that. I, I still think T.O.'s, like, the second best receiver of all time. But that's a whole other topic. We're not behind, behind Moss or behind Rice? Yeah. Behind Rice. I okay, the, the, why did you need to ask that question? Bro, there's people you, who talk you're, about... You're saying there's an, argue, you're saying there's an no, argument no, no. that Rice is the third best receiver of all time? No, no, but, no but I see what you're saying, but what I'm saying is that there's people who, who say that Moss is actually one, Rice is two. Although I know he said T.O. will be two, I'm just saying that, like, some people don't have okay. their cut Rice being number one for some odd reason. In my opinion, it's, it's odd. It's because he, he was boring. That's what it is. He wasn't flashy, but he was just produced yeah. for... Man, just got the job done. Touchdowns in twelve games. That's yeah. insane. that's craziness. But uh, quick, just uh, uh, on Deshaun Watson, like when he first, I guess, like was like, I don't know the exact term for it, but like when the the first twenty four were like settled, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I guess he's gonna play, and and I get, I was starting leaning towards giving him the benefit of the doubt. And then, like, the next week, like, 66, I'm like, nah, come on. This is my <laughs> dog. Not- How, like, there's only so much benefit of the doubt you can give. I feel right? that. Like, mm-hmm. He's bumped up by, like, 40K. I don't know if it was an extra 66 or if it was a, a, a plus 40. So, I'm, But regardless, it's horrible. So I seen that the NFL is expected to um, suspend him for the entire season. I have no problem with that. Um, but I, as it pertains to Baker Mayfield, I don't see, he's no way in hell is he starting a game for the Cleveland Browns game. No chance. They would have, the owner would have to like get down on his knees and, and like beg the man to play. Cause the way they handled the situation was just brutal. 
That's true. That's true. Seeing that though, I think that could that's the best thing for Baker's career going forward. Like he has to go out and ball because right now he his reputation is already like throughout the league is dog water. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like man, see it. Man, like I don't know if any teams see him as a starting quarterback yeah. right now. Bro, I don't know how many teams really see him as a quality backup quarterback, bro. It's kind of like I just feel like that's that's my thing with 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 Baker is that you know, I was a huge Baker fan. I was like up to y'all remember that. So I'm advocating this guy heavy, but I feel like he played his game. Like he played, he played like his hands terrible now. You know what I mean? He can't go onto a team thinking. He can't even compete for the starting position. So it's like, that's why I thought, like, you know what? Keep him on Cleveland, you know, back up Watson. God forbid something happens. But in that case, I was thinking, God forbid of an injury. But, yo, with Watson being gone literally for a whole year, why not just roll with Baker? I feel like Baker should take that as a, what do you call that with the, with the like a franchise, franchise type year, in a sense. So, like, yo, prove. Contract you. Prove your last year. You know it's my last year. You know you're going after this anyways. So it's mm-hmm. like move to the league that you still got it. Because either way, they're, they're going with Deshaun Watson. They're not paying that, that man that much money to not go with him the year after. So I don't know. I feel like as a as a as a competitor and a man, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel right the way they did it. So why would I give to this franchise when they need me? He holds the leverage now. So it's like there's no there's no, there's no point in him going back to Cleveland. I think there's a few handful of teams that he can start on, like Seattle, uh, Carolina. Tampa. Tampa. Uh. <laughs> no, there are a couple, but it's, like, it's, the thing is, are they willing to to take him on? Because I'm pretty sure, like, early on, Carolina basically said they, they don't want to take him, right? So it's like, I, I agree. I think he could start there, but is he going to go there? Like I, I don't I really don't think there any teams are gonna take him to be the starter. So that's why I, I think like this is his almost like a prove it year, like Devonta was saying. Like this he has to prove it this year in Cleveland for however many games, eight games the whole season that he does play, that he does start. And then it's like, look, I, I still do have value. Like y'all now y'all could take me going forward. I just can't see it happening. I can't see him playing for them ever again. I, I hear you though. In terms of pride and like, like you said, as a man, like, but when it comes down to money and like, if he still does want to play in the league, he has to. He, he's gonna have to put his pride to the side. I think. Yeah, he doesn't have much options, but knowing, like, knowing his, well, I don't know his personality, but from the outside looking in, I, I just can't see it happening at all. Like, he's too much of a prideful guy that, like, I think he'd rather sit out a year. Or wait for an injury than to play for them again. I hear that. I I, I see that. But if he doesn't play, I think I said before, I think uh, Jacoby can make him a playoff team. That roster is too talented. No, they have the best defense in, the, in, in that division. They the weren't. Defense? Play, were they? They, they, they weren't team even team. a playoff team last year with Baker. Hey, 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 hence why I said. But no, but the thing is. Look at the receiver core last year for Baker that's coming in this year. You know what I'm saying? They added Amari. Yeah, but, like, what is what is Amari going to do with Jacoby? They're, like, with Jacoby, they're going to run the ball 40 times a game. Nah, but they can still throw the ball. Yeah. They got they got. They'll got throw the ball time. maybe 18 times a game. Like, you'll have but, 18 dropbacks. But, but, Diva, they're, they're talented. We always say it, like, for the past two, three years that their roster is extremely talented. But even on the defensive end, the talent doesn't match the play on the field. Right, they should have the best defense or one of the top three defenses in the league, and they year in and year out, they don't really have that. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel the same. I, feel the same. I don't know. They're not beating the Steelers. I'll tell you that. Hey man, I probably should have beaten them twice. It's crazy. No, hey stop. Then all okay, right, whatever. You see, I, I generally I like the Steelers. I like my talk, yeah. but I generally don't. Think you guys are going to be as impressive as you think? No, everyone think everyone thinks what you think. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but hey, that boy T.J. Watt, come on. Hey, man. Outside of Aaron Donald, he's the second best defensive player in the league. Hey, man. I'm sorry. Outside of Aaron Donald, he's the best defensive player. In the league. I see that. What's it called? So, yo, what's your guys' now thoughts on? Let me just until over to uh, the big boy Gronk finally retiring. Do you think? 
Like, I'll let Tyson do it. Is, okay. Do you think he's the greatest tight end ever? Uh, greatest? No, I can't say that. Really? Yeah, I can't because I'm a I'm a I'm an Antonio Gates and Gonzalez guy. So, like, if I had to draft a tight end at face value, I'm taking both of them before him. You're taking Ooh. Antonio Gates before Ooh. Rock. Yeah, slightly. You're taking Antonio right. Gates before Glock? No, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I call I, him late. I, I, I hear you with Tony, but I think Gonzalez. I, I, Gonzalez has the bait. But nah, Tony. Nah, nah, you. I want to hear your thoughts on that. But yeah. well, yo, it's just like, well, for you guys, you guys saw I wore 85 back in the day. So he was my inspiration back when I was tight end, you know. Just a bias pick. Yeah, uh, slightly, slightly, but yo, know, he he just produced though. He had Philip Rivers, who to me is like he's he's overrated as you yeah. know what. But uh, he had Drew Brees early in his career. I just felt he was uh, super consistent. And Gronk, obviously, Gronk is Gronk. Like we've seen what he does, and uh, his his uh, his high level of play was probably higher than Gates. But in terms of career length-wise and consistency, durability and all that, durability. that's fair. I, I, that's fair. It's a fair point. I probably, still, but like, if you're telling me like they're both gonna like be on their game and they're not gonna, obviously, it's hard to say they're not gonna get injured. But like, if at their peak, I definitely think Rob was better. This is like, he was just a machine. Like, how do you even tackle him? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's just a monster, you know. <laughs> like, I think, I think Gronk is one of the one of the few pass catching players that you can't try to say he had Brady. You know what I mean? I think he was a guy where you almost were just able to see. You literally, no matter who was throwing it, you just throw it to him. And he was going to produce the way he he produced. Like, and they, they, you know how some people talk about Randy Moss and they're saying his 23 touchdown uh, season was, well, he had Tom Brady, da 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 But it's like, I don't think you can say that with Brown. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he was solidified the guy. Like, Brady is cute, but he as an individual is just that dominant. I thought. I, I don't think, uh, go ahead, go ahead. I don't think you could say it was Tom. Um, it was Tom Brady, but it definitely would have helped if his case if he balled without Brady. That's the only thing, man. Yeah, like Gonzalez balled with with whoever, whoever. You know what I mean? Shannon Sharp balled with Elway for the most part. And then after he went to Baltimore, he didn't put up thousand yard seasons like he was, but when you needed him in Baltimore with Jack Dilfer, he balled. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, me, Gronk's up. He's like definitely top three. I just, I got Sharp, Sharp, Shannon Sharp in my top three also. Uh, there, it's still too early, but I think Kelsey and Kittle. Um, By the Kelsey, like, I used to be. I think Kelsey is miles ahead of Kittle, to be honest. He is, but the the my issue is that what I saw in that Super Bowl against the Bucks, man, like Kittle, what like Kelsey was dropping the ball. Like yeah, Kittle, he, dropped, not he also had. I think he had twelve catches for one something. Also, I don't mean nothing to me. They were they were they lost like. 35 to 9 or whatever it was. Like, it was just, 31, 31, but it was just a dominant effort by the whole team, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> <this guy. laughs> I, I, I still think they probably would have lost that day, but if you had Kittle instead of Kelsey, I think you would have you would have had a better chance because Kittle's a dog. Kittle is – and but he's playing with Jimmy G. He put up 1,400-ish receiving yards with Jimmy G. Yeah, yeah, I think Kittle's nasty, and he's a better blocker than Kelsey. Great, he, I think he's one of the best blocking tight ends of all time, and he's yeah. just tight Yeah, I think he's just getting his feet wet. Yeah, now I feel like if I go, if I'm talking about top, I think by the time they're both done playing, they they had down the top five conversation with the five we just basically made with Sh- uh, Sharp, Gonzalez, Kittle, Kelsey, and uh, Ross. Not no. I, I I think all I think all five of them are picking up on the gates. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's why personally I feel like gates might be like six. Yeah, that's fair. Right. Yeah, six two for me. I just like, but like in, in the top five order, I don't really. I think I gotta go down Dallas first, still Sharp, and then 
no, Gonzalez, Gronk, Sharp. Uh, then I gotta go with, like I said, when they're done playing Kelsey, then Taylor. Hopefully, if, 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 if wait, hold up. Sorry, I know I'm joining a bit late. You got um Kittle in your top five already? No, no, no. I'm saying by the time, no, no, by the time they're done. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, I, I, hate, I was about to say it's mad. It's and mad Kyle early Pitts, for Kyle that. Pitts could be up there too. Because he, 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 got, he needs, he, yeah, he needs consistent QB play. Yeah, the thing is, you were just talking about the QB play, where it's kind of like that's why that's why I just feel like I don't know. I like got that tight end position, like we just said with Gonzalez, we just said with Sharp. Those guys did it without consistent QB play. You know what I'm saying? It's like they were just an dog. I, like the reason I say that though, because Kyle's, Kyle Pitts' um strength is going down the field. If he doesn't have a QB to get it there um, down the field to him, or if he doesn't have the line protection to allow the QB to get it there, he won't put up numbers. Like he's not gonna catch like a ten yard in and then go from there. Like he's gonna catch like a what like a twenty five yard corner route, like th- them type of routes. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why I like Kittle because Kittle can do that and take it to the crib. Like Kelsey can't take it, can't take a, a slap to the crib. Oh, you know, I don't know about do that. that. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, he can't. Kelsey can't do that. Come on, he's getting hawked. You know how many times I've seen him get hawked? <laughs> I've also seen him break 40 tackles for sure. <laughs> for sure. But who has, who has the record for most yards after catch by a tight end in NFL history? Come on, that's my boy Kittle. Come on now. Already? I just think you know, as, as an offensive has, coordinator. Like over a 1,000 yards of yards after a catch, like that one season he went crazy. That's insane. That's yeah. Insane. I'm, I on like the top is oh, – my bad, my bad. Go ahead, no, go ahead. Finish. I think it was like his rookie or second year. No, that's all I want to say, Jamal. You can go. Insane. I was just going to say, on the topic of tight ends, how are we feeling about Mark Andrews? Like, where, where does he rank? Can he be one of those dudes? I like Mark Andrews a lot. I, Jake, on a personal level, I like Mac, um, Mark Andrews a lot. I feel like he's a guy – He's top three right now playing being third at tight end. Um, I feel like he's a bad put him four. Put him four. That was like, yeah, I put him four. I put Waller ahead of him, to be honest. Oh, yeah, Waller. I forgot about Darren Waller. I forgot about D. Waller. I think D. Waller. Oh, man. Good. Yeah, I'm putting Darren Waller ahead of him, too. But I do think T.J. Hawkinson can come from Mark Andrews as well. Ooh. I like okay. T.J. I like T.J. I like, I like Fire move. Pat Fire move. He's on the come up. Don't sleep. <laughs> Hey man, yeah, you know what? I'm fantasy man. The fantasy season comes around, just know. Huh? I can't wait to explore oh, my job. I still don't know who. Eid Auten, Eid Auten. You're on, hearing man. it now. Right. Okay. After the fourth round, tight end. Okay, hey, I think he's on my team. Don't ask. Okay. Me fourth that. round. Fourth I'm not round. Tight end that high. I'm not doing it. Man. I'm not drafting tight end that high. No, no, no. He's in the. Uh, we drafted him out of the fourth okay. round. Okay, I was about to say. I oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking about fantasy. No, no, no. Yeah, bro. That's what I said. Whoa, whoa. No, no. I said we took him out of the fourth round. You know, he slipped because he was injured, but he's like a top three round draft prospect. I feel that. Gronk's gone. We have Cameron Brait and him. So we'll see. All right, so you, you think you think Gronk's done for good? I think he's gonna come back. I don't know. He, he lives his life how he wants, as you see. Yeah. <laughs> so he can do whatever he wants. I don't know. <laughs> he might do one more season, maybe. Maybe. Hey, man, you know, as we close this out, as we close this out, let me just let me just hit more top five tight ends in the match in the league this day. Yeah, excluding Gronk. You said excluding, excluding Gronk? Yeah, excluding Gronk. Uh, I go. I like Kittle over Kelsey because of the blocking. I won't lie. So Kittle. Kelsey, Darren Waller, Mark Andrews, and y'all, y'all already know Kyle Pitts is my dude. All right, what about you, Luca? I'll go because Kittle's a bit injury prone ish. So I'll say Kid, uh, Kelsey, Kittle, Waller, Mark, and uh, you know what? I like Kyle Pitts too. I got to put Kyle Pitts. Uh, you tell it. Actually, I'll put Kyle Pitts ahead of Mark Andrews. Ooh. I'm going Chelsea first. I'm going Waller second. Then Kel- then Kittle. Um then I'll go Pitts and Andrews. Then like I said, I got Kelsey, I got Kittle, Andrews, Waller, Pitts. I like that. 
And TJ, TJ Hawkinson can make the step up this year. So we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. He can. He can. Lions offense is going to be nice. 